Have you tried to register your device in Microsoft Intune, for example, a Windows 10 or Windows 11 device, and that device never showed up in Microsoft Intune, but the device is actually showed in Entra ID. So here is a Windows 10 device. This could be a Windows 11 device. And you've tried to register that device in Intune, but it's not showing up. So let's go to our Entra ID. For example, we have here all our devices in Entra ID. And you can see the device is C001, which um, has just been recognized. And you can see register it says pending. So this is going to take some time. But at the same time, if I go to Microsoft Intune, you can see we only have just one device. And the other device is not showing up. So what is actually the issue? So if I go back again to my device, if I go back again to my C001, then we can actually verify this in Event Viewer. Because there's a policy, there's a group policy that has been configured in the domain controller that actually registered the device automatically to Microsoft Intune. So, but right now you can see when I go to on an event viewer here, you need to go to um, applications and service logs, go to Microsoft, Windows, and then search for device management enterprise diagnostic provider and here we can see the admin so if you can see we have a lot of error message here so well, let's start from here you can see it says no migration needed okay that is okay but here you can see it says auto auto mdm enroll device credentials failed the system tried to delete the join of a driver that is not joined so we keep getting the same error message and this device could not be joined to MDM. And one of the problem is this. I've seen this actually in the past, so I'm just trying to do this video to help someone who is having that issue. Before someone could join his device to Microsoft Intune, that person must have a license. If that person does not have a license, that person will not be able to join his device to Microsoft Intune. For example, if I just go, let me just enter CMD, and here you can see this is the host name of the device. If I say, who am I? Here you can see, um, this is actually Kelvin Johnson. But the issue is, Kelvin Johnson does not have a Microsoft Intune license. So if I go to my domain controller and I start Active Directory Users and Computers, here you can see, for example, if I go to my domain and I go to Users, here you can see we have the account of Kelvin Johnson. And you can see Kelvin belongs to the kelvglobalict.com and Simon Johnson belongs to the Kelv Global Tech. Well, the Kelv Global Tech is the right um, right domain name that have the license to Microsoft Intune, which means that if I switch, for example, if I decided right now, I want to lock out of, let me just sign out of, um, as Kelvin Johnson, and then let's switch to a different user. So let's switch right now to, for example, I'm going to use the account of Simon.Johnson, and I just hit enter the password, and hit enter. So let's wait for Simon to log on, and then we can now see if this device is registered in Microsoft Intune. So after I log on to the device and I go back again to Event Viewer, here in the Device Management Enterprise and I check Admin, you can see we have some extra information. Let me just try to bring this down. You can see we are seeing more information and we're not seeing, more, um, we're seeing less of error message and the error message is actually different. But if I scroll up, you can see we are now having some, the session ended with status, the operation completed successfully. So when I go back, Again, when I go back again to my to the Entra ID, here you can see when I do a refresh, you can see that the device C001 is now available and it says the MDM is Microsoft Intune, like the other one says it's none, and this is actually co management. Then, if we go back again to Intune itself, here you can see we have co managed, and here you can see that the the device just appeared in Intune, it's not evalu evaluated, it's going to take some time for this to be evaluated. So the bottom line is this, if you are receive, if you are not seeing a device in Intune, 
probably the user is actually trying to sign in with an account that does not have a license so what you need to do is to assign a license to that user and the user will be able to log on and apart from that you should make sure that the user is using the right domain name probably in your domain environment you may have different domain accounts so if you assign a user a domain account does does not that does not correspond with Microsoft Intune um, domain or the domain that is registered in Intune like for example if I go to let me just enter DNS here DNS zones um, let me see no, I think I enter my let me see domain name sorry my DNA. here you can see we have some domain verified domain name so the verified domain name which is the kelv global tech is the is a verified domain name which i um, have assigned some license to so any user that is trying to use a different domain name may not be able to um add that device to microsoft intune my name is Kelvin Johnson and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video like this. And if you're having any issue with consigns Microsoft Intune, please don't forget to send me an email or leave a comment in the comment section of this video and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. Bye.